Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So black is universally known as probably one of the chicest colors you can wear, especially when you don't really know what else to wear. I've loved wearing black through the years myself and I still absolutely love all of the black items I have within my wardrobe. It goes with pretty much everything. It's easy to maintain. It's easy to style and combine. It's sophisticated and it just never really seems to go out of style. So this is probably what we would consider a safe color to invest in. Having said that, I've definitely also turned to black throughout the years out of pure habit. But on a soft color type, black can sometimes be very heavy, very harsh, very overpowering, especially if you compare it to other more soft colors that would suit a soft color type better and work more in harmony with a soft color type's natural coloring. So there are definitely other safe colors out there worth investing in and that are just as versatile and easy to combine with other colors as black. Colors that would be just as safe to invest in, colors that you can wear and re-wear over and over again. So if you feel like black has a tendency to be a bit too heavy for you or simply maybe a bit too predictable, then just keep on watching. So here are five wearable alternatives to the color black. So let's just start with how to actually get away with wearing black if it's not necessarily part of your specific color type palette or if it's just not one of your best colors. I'm sure many of you have lots of black in your wardrobes, I do too. And I would simply never tell any one of you guys or any one of my clients to get rid of clothing that is in colors that's not necessarily represented in their color type palette. So color analysis is not about excluding specific colors like that. And that's because we don't only look at the specific single colors and which colors suit you better. We also look at how to actually wear and combine colors in your favor. So that means you can make colors that isn't necessarily in your palette work for you as well. So this still gives you lots of room to express yourself just with a little bit more knowledge and confidence. A way that you can definitely make any color basically work for you if it isn't necessarily in your palette or if it isn't necessarily one of your best, most flattering colors is to move it further away from your face. So next time you want to add any new items to your wardrobe in black, you could choose items that are not worn right next to your face. So that could be a pair of trousers, it could be a pair of shoes, maybe even try going for accessories because that wouldn't take up as much space in your outfit. Another thing you could do is to pair the black color with another color that suits you better and that would be another way to make it work in your favor. So if you have something like a black blazer, for example, I have a black blazer myself, even though I'm a soft color type, I don't have black in my um, color type palette. So you could take that black blazer and then pair that with another color like I just said that works better for you. So that could be wearing something like a t-shirt or a layer underneath in a, in a color that suits you better. Maybe even something like a small scarf to just wear again close to your face and kind of create an, a layer between your face and that very heavy color would be another way to work around it. Sometimes makeup can have a huge impact as well. So if you make sure to then wear something soft if you're a soft color type um, would also be a way to make that very heavy color work for you. So now that we've established how to make black work, because I do think and I do agree that black is a universal color that anyone can wear, um, let's move on to the five alternatives to black. If you haven't already watched one of my recent videos all about universal colors and colors that pretty much suit anyone regardless of what color type you are, I will link that for you right here. If you've already watched it, you might remember pewter because that was one of the colors I mentioned in that video. And that's also one of the colors I always mention as a great alternative to black whenever I have a client consultation. So as I just mentioned, pewter is one of our universal colors because it has a sort of neutral depth, it has a neutral undertone and it has sort of a a neutral clarity as well. So what you really want to be thinking about here is especially how you choose to combine this color. So for example, if you are a dominant clear color type, you'll want to make sure that you pair colors in a way that has a lot of contrast. So for example, pairing pewter with a white would be an, a great way to, to add some contrast to your outfits. 
If you're a soft color type, um, which is opposite of being clear, you wanna make sure that you combine colors in a more tonal and more toned down way. So that would give you a much softer expression. In any case, this lovely grayish brown color is a perfect substitute for black. It's just as versatile. Navy comes in different depths, so it's definitely all about finding the depth that suit your color type. For example, if you look better in deeper colors, you want to go for a deep kind of navy. If you look better in lighter colors, you want to look for a lighter kind of navy. I think it's needless to say that navy is a great classic color and a great alternative to black. So everything from knitwear to outerwear, bottoms, skirts, dresses, even something like accessories. I think accessories in navy is a really nice choice and I think that it's a little less predictable than black and can really let your style personality shine through more. So again, it's very close to the black color. It's just as versatile, but it's just slightly less overpowering. Burgundy has been a favorite color of mine for years, especially around autumn, winter time and around the festive season as well. I find this to be such an elegant and chic kind of color. I think this makes a wonderful color for something again like knitwear, especially textured knitwear, but definitely also something like a brushed wool scarf in this color is wonderful. I'm also still obsessed with burgundy nail polish and I have been for years. It's one of the only few colors I actually have in my, in my beauty drawer. If you love wearing dresses for special occasions, burgundy again makes an elegant and chic alternative to black. Again, just slightly less overpowering and heavy but just as stylish and classic I think. Now charcoal is probably the one color that gets closest to black because it's really black but just with white so more lightness added to the color. So again because it's lighter than black it's less overpowering it's less heavy than black. So next time you're looking for something like a new winter coat for example and you're about to purchase one in a black version why not try broadening your horizon a bit and then go for something in a charcoal color instead. Last but not least, we have chocolate, which again is a great alternative to black. It's slightly less overpowering, slightly less heavy. So if you're looking to add something like a biker jacket to your wardrobe, for example, I think chocolate would be a nice, deep, rich kind of color. Um, again, something slightly less predictable than black, but still is something that you can easily pair with any other neutral, any other color for that matter. And again, I think it's great for something like coats, uh, blazers, textured jumpers, accessories, shoes, really anything goes with this color and like I always say to my clients it's all about being creative and really rethinking the way that you look at your basic wardrobe and the colors that you tend to choose. So there you have it guys, five super wearable and chic alternatives to black. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, I definitely enjoyed making it. For more videos like this don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel I would love to have you around. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye guys.